Dear all, welcome to this video dedicated to Apple Pages. After this quick guide of 12 minutes, you will be able to deal with all the features it offers. Apple Pages is a built-in app inside your Mac, completely free to use. With this, you can realize textual documents complete with tables, charts, and media files with maximum control on indentation and format. When you open it, you can browse for any document you have, including doc files, or start with something new with New Document at the bottom. Here you can find more than 70 ready templates available, including CVs, reports, and great book covers. To see how to use pages, let's pick a blank document. This gets open on the main interface made by several buttons on top and useful panels on the left and right sides. In particular, you can open the document panel to adjust the document format, its size, orientation, and margins from the borders of the page. At this point, you can start writing. This document is made by several pages, including text and different items such as tables, charts, and media files. On top and at the bottom of each page, you can define any header and footer note to add any title or page number. From the document panel, you can adjust their spacing from the page borders. Below the header, you can click and start typing the document body. Every time you start a new line with the Enter key, you also make a new text paragraph with an own format, indentation, and spacing options. You can see where any paragraph ends by selecting it and finding the Pilgro character. To adjust text, just select any word, line, or paragraph and open the Format panel. Under Style, set Font Family, Size, Style, and Color. These changes are also applied to the new text lines you type. You can also adjust the text distribution or add any left or right indentation. Under Spacing, set the distance between the selected lines or in respect to the previous or the following paragraph. Use Drop Cap to add a large capital letter at the beginning of the current paragraph. Click on the Advanced Options button to adjust character spacing. Add Baseline Shift. Set capitalization or apply special effects such as outline, shadow, or text background. Remember to use Command and Z to undo any action and go backwards. Switch to layout to set the layout of the paragraph selected. Set the number of columns, the indentation of the first line, or on the left and right sides. With borders and rules, you can add borders, such as a simple horizontal separator at the end of the paragraph, or an entire contour around it, depending on what you select under position. You can set line style, color, and thickness as you like, and also add any colored background to it. You can use a top ruler to adjust indents and spacing faster. If you do not find it, go to View and click on Show Ruler. You can drag its yellow markers to adjust either the left or the right indentation for the selected paragraph, including the first line by clicking the top side of the left arrow. You can also make unordered and ordered lists by dropping any dash letter or number character, starting a new line for each term. If you select the whole list, you can open Format, Style to customize the symbol to use, 
format, indentation, color, and other advanced options under Bullets and Lists. You can adjust spacing by using the ruler as well. If your document starts to be big, you can manage it with the sections and the table of contents. The sections are groups of pages sharing the same background, header, and footer. You can go to Document, Section to create a new section and start using another background, header, footer, or page numbering by unchecking Match Previous Section. Whereas, go to View, Table of Contents to show the document content complete with page numbers. If you go to Format, Table of Contents, you can set the content range and also the paragraph styles to be included and listed. To use these paragraph styles, you can select any heading, subtitle, or piece of text interested and go to Paragraph Styles under Format More. You can include several extra objects within your document with all the buttons on top. Click on Insert to add page breaks, footnotes, or equations. With any text selected, you can also go to Link to add address links, emails, or bookmarks. These bookmarks can be used for quick reference under Document Bookmarks. Use Table to include a full table. Click on any cell to start typing, adjusting number of columns and rows with dedicated buttons, and using the main one in the top left corner to move the table within another line. With charts, you can add several kinds of charts using Edit Chart Data to insert or edit your series data and name. Go to Text to create pieces of text within boxes. These can connect with each other by clicking on their top button. This way, if any text can't be contained within the first box, it can continue on the second one being linked. With Shape, you can drop lines and several kinds of shapes with one click. Whereas, click on Media to import photos, videos, and sound files that can be put in playback with their play button. You can manage all these objects in the same way. Click on any to select it and drag it to move through the document. Use its nodes to resize, stretch, or reshape. To adjust visibility and appearance, open the Format panel on the right. Inside the Arrange section, you can select Move with Text to move the object automatically whenever you create new text lines or Stay on Page to keep it fixed. With Text Wrap, you can set the way text should merge with the object contours, in particular if this is placed within text paragraphs. Adjust spacing and offset if necessary. Below, you also set the order of visibility from back to forward, especially in case the object is overlapping text or other items. Then, set alignment, size, position, inclination, or any flip. The other sections next to Arrange Set the object appearance and format depending on the kind of item selected. For example, if you select any table, you can adjust its style, headers, number of rows and columns, and also add any border or grid line. Under Cell, you adjust the data format, add any colored fill, or set border style and thickness. All these adjustments are applied on all cells selected at the moment. When selecting shapes or text boxes, you can open the Style section to add fill, border color, 
or great effects including shadow, reflection, and transparency. Whereas if you select any chart, you can change its style, add titles, or adjust the text font, the background, or the chart type to use. You can also customize legend or axis labels by clicking on these directly. When you select any picture, you can open the image section to crop it with Edit Mask or adjust its colors with Complete Adjustment Options. If you select any video or audio file, you can open Movie or Audio to trim content or put it in loop if necessary. All documents open on pages can be edited by multiple users at the same time from either an iPhone, an iPad, or online with iCloud.com. In this case, you may need to add comments to make questions or reviews over the work made. To do so, select the interested text and click on Comment above. The comment will show up every time any user hovers over it, with the possibility to add replies as well. You can hide all these comments anytime by going to View Hide Comments. You can also open the Comments pane to get the full list of comments to review. All documents on pages get saved automatically. To print or export these, go to File above. You can export under several formats, including PDF and Word, adding any password if necessary. Thank you very much for watching this quick tutorial. Visit our YouTube channel and our website to discover free guides and much more.